Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you how I made this neon ombre glitter distressed mama tumbler. I'm using the high sparkle neon bundle from the glitter grind as my glitter today and I wanted to do something a little different before moving on to more holiday tumblers. I really really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. So I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight and I got this from Makerflow Crafts. I will have their link in the description and I'm going to start by covering the entire tumbler in Mod Podge. Um, I would have honestly much rather base painted it neon colors to match my glitter, um, but I do not really have any paints that will match this glitter and I don't want the different shades of paint to take away from the colors of this glitter because the glitter is gorgeous. So if I have to add a second coat, it's fine. But I'm going to work pretty quickly and I'm going to go the first like inch or so here. Hold my glitter pretty high and very gently let it fall to create a bit of an ombre. I'm going to keep up this process until the entire tumbler is covered. Okay, so this turned out awesome. I'm really, really, really happy with it. So now I'm just going to let this Mod Podge dry for about the next five minutes and then I'll spray seal the entire thing with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. And then I'm gonna pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm gonna add two coats of epoxy and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so after two coats of epoxy, this is nice and smooth. Now this is the decal that I have already cut out here. I cut it out on some opal chrome vinyl. So got it from Creative Fabrica and the way that I cut it out in my silhouette, I created an internal offset. Now this one that I have here is just regular, like I didn't apply any offset, nothing like that. I just cut out the decal as normal. So I'm gonna start by applying this decal first and since this is going to be a peekaboo of course for this part here just remember to use a vinyl that you don't care to waste so i'm going to lay my tumbler down here on my cup cradle and apply my decal like so now i'm just removing this and i'm going to take this tumbler outside and spray paint the entire thing with um, head in the clouds from color shot let it completely dry and then we will come back for the next step okay now that everything is nice and dry i'm going to take my weeding pick here and just remove all of the vinyl Now for this part, I'm going to wear my gloves because I don't want to ruin my acrylic nails. <laughs> so I'm going to take a paper towel and some pure acetone that I keep in a little pump bottle here. This is the one that I use. I get it from Amazon. And I'm just going to get my paper towel wet and I'm going to rub along just pretty much wherever I want to to remove some of that paint and expose some of this beautiful glitter underneath. But of course I'm not gonna do it all, just in some spots, and then I will go through and clean it up um, whenever I get all of it done. So like I'll remove as much paint as I want and then I'll come back and clean up where it still looks a little cloudy. 
but just keep doing this to your liking so this part is just personal preference you can remove as much or as little as you like Now this is where I'm going to go in and clean it up. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going over the parts that I already did. See how much better that looks than the rest. So just clean it up. Get all the paint smear off of your exposed glitter until it's nice and shiny again. All right, so now I'm going to lay this down on my cup cradle from Bama Cups. I'm going to take that outline, which I had to make another one because I don't know what happened to the one that I just had. So I just made another one. And I'm going to try to center it up best that I can here, which I think that looks pretty good. So now I have a cute little outline and now the only thing I'm going to do is pop this on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm going to add two coats of epoxy and this will be all done. So this is really, really cute, but I think it just needs a little something more. So what I'm going to do is apply another coat, I have it upside down, <laughs> another coat of epoxy. And then I'm going to go in with this really, really, really pretty glitter from the Glitter Grind called Hidden Gem. It is silver, but it's got like a like a rainbow opal looking color shift, I guess maybe to it. Um, but it's really, really pretty and I think it's gonna match this really well. I'm not gonna put a whole lot on. I'm going to apply the epoxy and then just like pinch and sprinkle. I'm gonna try to keep it on the white parts of this tumbler, um, but we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and do that just to spruce it up a little bit. So I've already applied my epoxy. I just wanted to show you guys how I am putting this on. I just put a little bit into the palm of my hand and I'm using um, my other hand to sprinkle some on. I'm really trying to control it to stay on the white painted areas. Um, I didn't put a whole lot on, just enough to kind of give it a little something extra. And then after I let this coat of epoxy spin and cure, um, I only work once a day. So about 24 hours later, I did come back out, sanded it down, added a final top coat of epoxy and um, of course let that spin let that cure and then it was finished so definitely make sure to add another coat of epoxy over top of this glitter so everything is sealed and protected and nice and smooth um, but this came out really really cute I love it and this is the finished result I feel like just those little bits of glitter just added the little bit of something that I felt the tumbler was lacking before and just a little detail I just I love it and before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, when you focus on the rainbow, you don't mind the rain. That's all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think adding that little specks of glitter here and there was a good choice? And like always, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one.